Hi everyone, it's Ellen. I'm here to do the wasabi challenge. I watched this video online where this girl put on wasabi on her lips to make them puffy. I'm actually that stupid and I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna leave the wasabi on for one minute. Careful, it's pretty hot. <laughs> so now you have beautiful, plump, and exfoliated lips. All this does is make me want sushi. <laughs> We're her. setting the record straight on the hottest health and beauty trends in a segment we call Trending Up, Trending Down. In that video you just saw, that is the trend we're talking about that's making a splash. A beauty blogger posted that tip on how to achieve plump lips. Obviously, you're not going under the knife, the knife there. You're just giving your lips a little wasabi. Wasabi. <laughs> so a lot of folks are posting this online. Wasabi, called the Japanese horseradish, it's actually made from real wasabi plants. This explains why everybody leaving the sushi bar has good looks. <laughs> Ingesting wasabi, we've talked about it. It can have anti-inflammatory health benefits. So wasabi itself, I love it. It does work. When you apply wasabi on your lips, it stimulates an inflammatory reaction, which causes swelling on the basis of the, the horseradish, the mustard, and the other ingredients, and your lips will swell up. And you bring up a up. really interesting point. In this country, Wasabi is usually not true wasabi. Yeah. It's usually our own version where I guess we substitute in horseradish, mustard, and some green coloring. <laughs> but it still has that, that profound that effect, effect that you're seeing. But Dr. Travis, how long is this effect going to last? About if I, if I spread this wasabi. It, 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 it acts pretty quickly. You apply it, it it's going to come out in a matter of minutes. It's only gonna last an hour, so. But it's funny you should ask, because <laughs> before we came out here, I was talking to one of our producers, Emily, who's in our little production area, and Emily, you tried this. What was your initial reaction? Well, at first, um, it really burned, first of all, when I put it on way more than I thought it would. Um, but then it did, it made my lips really plump, and I was excited. Um, but it only lasted like an hour, and so I was kind of disappointed by the end of it. Emily, is it fair to say you would have to apply this every hour on the hour, which over time, obviously, you don't uh, want to be doing that to get the effect that you're looking for? Yeah, definitely, if not more times, because it does fade pretty quickly. Well, Emily, thank you for trying it out. And the other thing you don't think about is you you're great. applying this, and do you never kiss your significant other? Well, that'd be interesting. Like, you're, you kiss somebody with this on your lips, and then their lips well. start swelling. Yeah, that, all that stuff you have to be careful with because it can cause some big time burning.